So you, so you want me to talk about why people in the past were getting depressed from the food they ate? I mean, it seems pretty obvious here in 2049 uh, that pesticides and ultra-processing of food was literally blocking our happiness hormones. Um, you know, but we're not here to talk about why for-profit food industry was making us sick. Uh, I think even in your time, you can figure that out. And you can also look up some studies, like uh, Livio Creque was a, was a real pioneer in her, her uh, first study, and that kind of started a movement to help us connect mental health with the food we eat. But what I'm gonna talk about in terms of food production is more about what we're doing here at Dos Colinas and Tohi in the year 2049. And what we're doing is we're getting quantitative data to support how regenerative agriculture done in community settings can be even more impactful than limiting pesticides and you know not processing your food and eating raw organic. So I know you haven't really heard of OG capitalism and this is kind of pre-value of one massacre, so things were different, I get it. Um, but let me tell you a little story. This just happened to me recently, about a month ago. Uh, so my granddaughter accidentally saw me chopping the head off of a chicken last month. And it was traumatizing. She didn't talk to me for almost two weeks and I was heartbroken. And finally, she got the courage up, still very nervous, walked up to me, just this wee little thing, looked up and said, Papa, why don't you need the egg box? To cut off the chicken's head, like they do at Teal Farm. I said, mi princesa, come with me, vamos. We went down to the garden and uh, picked out two tomato plants that were ready to go on the ground. We dug our holes, put the plants in, I took her little hands and helped her fill the holes. And then I said, honey, why don't we use the ag bots to plant our tomatoes? And she smiled so wide and said, Don't be silly, Papa. This is our job we do it together. When we get through it, it's so much fun. And she was right. That pretty much sums up how growing your own food can make you happier. You know, brings out the child in you. And uh, no matter how advanced our technology gets, and how much data we have, how much AI, we have robots now that can tell us our hydration levels and our cortisol and endorphin levels and how everything around us in our environment and ecosystem is affecting those things. Yet still, many of us are missing the point. We're removing ourselves from the process and allowing robots to take some of the jobs that actually connect us to each other and connect us to our food. So, you know, <laughs> I guess it's a little long-winded, but if, uh, coming back to your question, if you really are worried about depression and if your diet is maybe affecting your mental health, I just want to say that, yeah, of course, organic, non-pesticide, healthy food is an awesome start, but it just pales in comparison to getting your hands in the dirt and growing food together. That's the only way toward genuine happiness.